Things are about to heat up in Starbase, Texas. Russia's first cosmonaut to ride on dragon suits up. One of Falcon Heavy's upcoming missions is no longer up and coming. And we finish with today's honorable mention. I'm The Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. Starship booster static fires are so close you can taste it. They taste like burning. Over the weekend, work was being done under Booster 7 down at the orbital launch site. Crews were spotted by Starship Gazer installing Raptor shielding around the center engines. An igniter test was also performed to prepare her for an imminent static fire campaign, which will involve lighting up one tier of engines at a time before doing all 33 at once and destroying planet Earth. And that could begin this week. A marine safety information bulletin was released by the Coast Guard informing ships to avoid the waters off the coast of Brownsville from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. local time Monday through Thursday. But there's always a chance we won't see any flamage and that there's a long list of prerequisites that need to be checked off, like the one performed last night, leaving static fires susceptible to delays if things don't go according to plan. However, road closures are still active at this time. Meanwhile, Starship 24's Raptor vacuum engines were seen by Lab Padre on Sunday, entering the high bay for installation. Concerning Dragon news, Russia's first cosmonaut expected to ride in SpaceX's capsule with Crew-5, Anna Kinkina, left for the United States on Saturday to prepare for her flight to the International Space Station. As part of a week-long training at SpaceX, Anna will get to know her spacesuit, which includes fitting it, and will take part in lectures on the latest changes in the operation of some systems of the Crew Dragon spacecraft. The launch of Crew-5 is currently scheduled for September 1st, 2022. NASA announced that due to the late delivery of the asteroid orbiter's flight software and testing equipment, their Psyche mission has been delayed. Lifting off on top of a Falcon Heavy rocket, the spacecraft was expected to launch between August and September this year. However, this delay to next year or the year after means the spacecraft won't reach its targeted asteroid until 2028 or 2029. And now it's time for today's honorable mention. Just hours ago, Rocket Lab launched their heaviest payload yet, a lunar CubeSat for NASA called Capstone. Its mission is to help the agency better understand orbital stability of a near rectilinear halo orbit around the moon, the same orbit the Gateway Lunar Space Station will park at. This was the first time Rocket Lab used the new Photon Kickstage Hypergolic Hypercurie engine, which will perform a number of burns over the next six days to get the vehicle on a lunar trajectory. The CubeSat will then be deployed for its four and a half month trip to the moon. That's all for today. Thanks for showing up. Over the past several months, I have received requests from some of you to release some patriotic merch in our store. So I'm happy to inform you that our first in our patriotic line is now available. I thought it would be appropriate to begin with a classic for you rebels. And to be honest, I always wanted a Gaston flag shirt for myself. Order yours today using the link in the description below and then stand by for more patriotic merch that will be released soon. Have a nominal weekend, you space pirate patriots. And until next time, Godspeed.